Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Uh, I want to thank you very much for joining me. And today I thought I'd brag about Central Oregon. Where is Central Oregon? Well, if you go to Oregon and you look at the mountains that go through there, we're on the east side of that and it tends to be more conservative. I'll use that word. Uh, what do we got out here? Well, we got lots of property. <laughs> we got space. We have beautiful mountains we see. We're uh, considered, uh, where I'm at, a uh, high desert. So we'll have a mixture of, uh, oh, when you get closer to the mountains, a lot more pine trees and et cetera. And farther down, uh, about 33,000 feet area, you will see a lot of junipers, uh, beautiful trees uh, <laughs> in there, uh, everywhere. So what I wanted to talk about is why Central Oregon so special. <clears throat> now, I've been here several times. I haven't lived here my whole life. And so I've been to Washington State. I've lived in Phoenix. Um, and uh, I've been on the west side in Seattle area back in the days when it was a beautiful place to live. Uh, I can't say that today. But what I want to talk about is Central Oregon freedom. And when I talk about freedom, there's a couple. Now, there's exceptions to everything I'm talking about here. Um, freedom to me is people leave you alone. That's one thing. Not always true here. Um, the other is if you don't live in the cities, like Redmond or, or Bend or maybe Mad well, Madras, maybe a little bit more conservative. But um, people live their lives in freedom. And when I say that is freedom of speech is relatively okay here. Um, you know, everybody, no matter where you live, even back in the days when things were even more easygoing, uh, there's always people that get triggered and stuff like that. That does happen and it happens here. But generally speaking, people just do their own thing. And when it comes to all the laws and all this craziness, what comes on from our politics on the West side and in the federal and all that stuff, we adhere to it, but we aren't ridiculous about it. And so I'll never name companies or, or businesses that, you know, you know, we, we have the cough thing going on, stuff like that. And, and they're pretty easy going about it, but they do follow the rules uh, but they do it in a real courtesy way. Um, if I was to have a con contractor or, or people uh, coming to the house, they immediately would show up with a mask on and all that stuff. And I'll immediately say, hey, we're not paranoid here. You're okay. Um, then they'll lighten up. So they're not so stringent, um, but they're respectful. So that's one thing I really do is respectful. Now, the one thing I do want to mention, uh, and it's been true when I lived here 20 years ago, it's true today. There's such a thing as what we call, I call, Central Oregon time. Central Oregon time means we will be there kind of, maybe approximately, kind of, sort of, maybe be there at the time we said we're going to be there. <laughs> so patience is probably a big thing in Central Oregon because Things take a little longer, and sometimes things to get around to it takes a little longer. But generally speaking, once they get around to doing it, uh, they they do good job. <laughs> <laughs> but every uh, we've been dealing with a lot of companies lately. Uh, we had you know a pellet stove put on. We've had our house roof done. We're having our siding done right now. So we've had lots of outside companies coming to our property. Every one of them have been very respectful. Very. You don't even have to even ask or even you know, probe to find out they're in the conservative side or even, I would say, more independent. Most people are here. Um, there's exceptions to that. I notice it in the young people. Uh, I remember uh, going to McDonald's once, and there was a young um, person at the window, and she's wearing gloves, and I give her cash. She freaks out because I, I gave her cash and doesn't want to touch my hand. It's like, really? <laughs> and I've, I've seen it in the young folks. I don't know what's what it is, whether it's school or some of the uh, uh, internet stuff or whatever, but they tend to st um, uh, be on the triggered side of a little bit. So we see that 
I see that. At least I, I'm just, these are going to be all my own opinion. Let's put it that way. But our young adults, other than the ones that work outside of the cities, uh, they tend to be down to earth kids. But we're d definitely seeing the liberalism, you might say, or the triggeredness of uh, the young generations in the city. But uh, I think that was kind of true even back in the days 20 years ago. Um, they tend to be uh, uh, more diversified as far as uh, uh, city ideas than, say, us folks out here in our uh, rural area, you might say. <laughs> anyway, but generally speaking, freedom. Um, your First Amendment, speaking your uh, um, your mind. Um, obviously, the Second Amendment's very popular here, although there's not a lot of places to go shoot and, and practice with. I, I, I do have a complaint there. Um, but generally speaking, um, comparing Central Oregon to living here 20 years ago to today, um, generally speaking, it still feels free. It's still very beautiful. I've noticed a few more rules, um, but uh, generally speaking, this is a really nice area to live. Feel free. Still pick up a little property if you want to at a relatively good price and uh, do what you want to do. <clears throat> um, one of the things, and I think everybody's starting to go you know, to, and we're talking about it a lot here, is being a little more self-sufficient. Um, I've noticed there's a little bit more in the farmer's market area, easier to uh, deal with uh, 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 co-ops and things like that when it comes to food and prepping and stuff like that. But um, uh, when I tell folks or meet folks, I tell them that we kind of prepare and we prep a little and we you know, are ready for emergencies and stuff like that, I'm finding a lot of like-minded people. Um, then I just meet a lot of folks that are hardworking people here that literally have no clue what's going on in the United States. <laughs> They're just living and disconnected um, and perfectly happy. And I actually recommend that. <laughs> so if you're watching the news every day, the normal primetime channels, turn them off. Uh, one of the things I've been telling and preaching around here is, I know we're out here in the Thule's a little bit and we have a hard time with reception like that. And we all have cable, we have dish. I highly recommend if you can get a decent internet and there's some decent stuff you can buy, even being out in the Thule's a little bit, uh, they all use cell phone companies and stuff. You gotta be careful which ones you get. We went through a little nightmare there, but we're very happy with the internet we have now. Um, to Get rid of those services. One, it will save you tons of money. How much are you paying for your 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 cable today or your dish? I bet you it's 150 to 200 bucks, right? Dish it. Get rid of it. Um, smart TVs now. Um, once you have internet, you can get all the news that you want if you really have to see the news. Um, but you can now use uh, uh, Roku. You could use... Um, Netflix and Amazon and then obviously YouTube and you can select the news you want to hear and play it on the necessary subjects that you're concerned about. If you're just worried about the weather, just turn on weather, you know, play weather clips, um, things like that. But one is you'll save a lot of money. Two, you'll be happier, less stress. I think a lot of people in, in Central Oregon have discovered that the media is not our friend. And uh, obviously we tend to be in the red state uh, counties out here and uh, even our cities and what's going on on the west side uh, just don't relate to what we're doing over here. Um, I see that battle constantly when it comes about how to deal with our schools, how to deal with all kinds of different things. But anyway, generally speaking, uh, my point is Central Oregon is a great place to live. Um, not perfect. Um, and there's exceptions to everything I've said. Um, there is evil people here. I've seen them and I've dealt with them in the past and present um, just as much. But I think generally speaking, the goodness um, outweighs those kind of folks. Um, it just isn't a place to go that you don't come across some cranky person. <laughs> That's a troublemaker. Um yeah, so even 20 years ago in some of the business dealings I dealt with in the past, uh, I've seen some very evil people. So, um, and, and from here, and I, but I've seen 
as evil, if not worse, <laughs> in the bigger city. So Central Oregon, thank you for being thank, uh, Central Oregon. Those that live here or been here for a while, uh, it's going to be our responsibility to try to keep it as good as it has always been. Um, there's so many influences of people coming from different states, moving here and escaping those crazy states that they come from. And a lot of times, I don't know why, but they bring it, they want to, they, they come with their liberal ideas, even though they're escaping the, the, the states that they came from that were so going down the toilet. And then they start pushing it here. And it's like, no, 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 no. So um, we have to be understanding. Two is, don't be standoffish if somebody says, I moved here from California. And then, you know, say, tell them the things that are so nice about this place and let them know the style of politics. And for us, they've been around a while and, and been here a while. Stay involved with the communities. Stay involved with the churches. Stay involved with activities and 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 school districts and PTAs and things like that. Stay involved with the principles and the morals and the ethics that we've always had here in Central Oregon. And it will continue to be that way. But if we lay back, kick back and just say, everything's cool, we don't need to be involved, this place will fall. So my message is, thank you, Central Oregon, for the freedom. And most of all, for those of us that live here, we need to continue pushing these principles, keeping our morals and ethics, and staying free. Freedom also means tolerance. What does that mean? You may have in places where you have five, 10 acres, and then another guy ten, uh, has another 10 acres over there, and he may have a couple of old cars and a trailer in his property. That's his business. That's his freedom. That's their freedom. Just as much as you may have animals on your property and a, and a rooster that's crowing all the time and it's irritating while well, they need to be tolerant of you too. So freedom means tolerance of one another. That's freedom. Freedom isn't say my way or the highway. It's tolerance. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for listening. I hope it was a good message. Uh, we've got a lot more things coming in the future um, for Central Oregon stuff. Uh, kind of waiting for the weather to get a little better and uh, things like that. But guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world or at least Central Oregon. <laughs> Appreciate it. And uh, have a great day. <laughs> Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.